back. Here we are on the Glassbox Education Channel and today I'm going to take you guys through curly hair. I think this is something that a lot of people struggle with because they don't really understand what's going to happen to the hair and how it's going to react. So we're literally just going to take you through a very basic curly haircut. Something that's not going to go too short, but keep the length, but it's all about shape. So follow me, we're going to take you through some curly hair. Well, here we go. Look at this beautiful head of curly hair. What we have to be mindful of is different areas of the head might be less curly. So if I spin them around and you can see some areas are straight, some areas are tight, and that's what we have to be mindful of, okay? So this is gonna be a really fun haircut. I love the shape uh, that we put in previously. Obviously he's a great looking dude, and we're just gonna bring him back to normal and build that beautiful round shape once again, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna section him out, give him a nice shampoo, and uh, we'll catch you back after we're sectioned. So, previous videos and other videos we've done, you can see that we've actually worked from the bottom to the top. Today, I'm gonna choose my choice of length by choosing where this is gonna sit, okay? And I'm actually gonna start right at the top. I'm gonna bring this out, and I'm gonna take it right down. Working on a square cutting line, but I'm slightly going to turn that square cutting line into some graduation. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build up some weight. So technically it's gonna come out triangular here into something square here because I want this to hold up the rest of the curl, which is gonna be really, really cool and a lot of fun because sometimes we need that foundation to build the rest of the haircut. So what you're gonna see me doing is working something straight out and then turning it into almost like a taper, the way you would fade, short to long. Okay, so it's triangular here, square here. So as, as I go side to side, you're gonna see me working square and triangular, okay? This side and this side. Follow along. So, ready, three, two, one. So once again, we've worked one side, working it square into something triangular, square, triangular, square, triangular. Everything was coming to the previous, okay? You will see in your perimeter, you might have some extra length, but that's okay, because what we're gonna do is we're just gonna clean that up at the end of the actual haircut, just to make sure that the perimeter is looking uh, appropriate with the rest of the haircut, okay? So don't stress, because it's not always you have to start with your perimeter, you can do your perimeter at the end. Uh, and sometimes that gives you a softer um, result. So I think it really comes down to who you're working with, what you're doing, uh, and how you're doing it, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work to this side now. Again, square and then triangular. So when you're working with curly hair, it's always important to just see how it's sitting, okay? You can give it a scrunch, you can move it around, okay? Because it's gonna react completely differently than regular, um, you know, straight hair, okay? So it's always fun just to see how it's sitting, but you can really see that's a really nice square shape in there, okay? And what we're gonna do is, like I said, we'll come back to that perimeter, we'll clean that up. It's gonna be a lot of fun, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move to the sides. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a section from the back here and we're gonna work all the way to the front and we're just working with that square cutting line once again, okay? And I'm gonna be slightly over directing back. Nothing crazy and I'm sure a lot of people out there understand exactly what I'm doing, okay? But if you're new, we're just working with a square layer, okay? Right, took my guide from there, starting here. Here we go, just removing and adding and building that square shape. And we're really not taking that much off because he's happy with his length. He just needs a better shape, okay? And I think that's sometimes things that we don't really worry about. Sometimes people just think they need a haircut, but sometimes it's just all about that shape. I'm gonna take that last section there, just over directing back, really not much coming off, okay? And I'm actually really happy with that. Once again, perimeter, we're gonna sort that out 
once we dry the hair. And that's a really cool thing about curly hair as well, is we can actually really focus on how it's gonna sit and what we're gonna do, because what we want it to be is visually appealing. It doesn't always have to be technically connected. Um, I think there's a lot of precision cutters out there who are constantly saying things have to be connected here and there, but I think visual uh, is, is, is overly important, kind of like an artist, you know? Visual is appeasing. So we're gonna work to the back here. Uh, same thing, just adding from the previous section to build our guide to the side. Just over directing back, looking for that shortest point. Beautiful, here we go, we're in. And that's a big one I like to say to everybody, is like if you guys are cutting hair and you're not having fun and you're not enjoying it, you know, then you're in the wrong business. Should be fun, should be creative, should be enjoyable, okay? And for anybody out there, don't worry about what people think about your work. As long as the client in your chair loves what you're doing, that's what matters, okay? Just cross-checking there quickly. Beautiful, okay? Taking that last section. And I'm working salon speed right now. This is literally how I would work in the salon. Not really much, okay? Again, working with the cross-check. I'm not perfect, so that's why we cross-check. Okay, this is gonna be a beautiful shape. You're gonna love it. Okay, so sides and back are done. Nothing crazy happened there. Fundamental salon basics, okay? But sometimes working with a different texture can really change the game, okay? So we have this area, and as you can see, it might react negatively due to the point of distribution or the growth pattern, okay? We like to call it the point of distribution because the hair is gonna react differently, but let's just have a look and see how it's gonna fall. I'm probably gonna cut it to how it naturally wants to separate, okay? And as you can see, there is the growth pattern, okay? We're gonna work to that and make sure that we connect that in the way it wants to fall, okay? And you might find your haircuts come out better once you understand how the haircut, or the sorry, the hair is actually falling. So here we go, once again, just focusing on that point of distribution, just seeing where the hair is actually wanting to fall, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work my layer, okay? Just from where it naturally is sitting. And there's probably not a ton coming off, just a little tiny bit. Again, he was really quite happy with his shape, and I'm just working from this section all the way back, and there's really not much coming off. Now, there's gonna be people out there who would say, hey, that's not the right way of doing this. I find this to be the right way of doing it because I wanna make sure that I'm layering, but the hair is sitting where it wants to sit. And again, there's really not much coming off, okay? And I'm just literally working and I pivoted in that section, okay? I think sometimes what we can do with hair is be more visual about it, okay? How is it visually gonna sit? Not so, worried about the fundamentals always of what is right or what is wrong, but focusing on how the hair actually naturally wants to sit on the head, especially when it comes to curly hair. I'm just literally pulling that off from its areas of where it's sitting on the point distribution. It's sitting quite nice. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna work right to the top. Now, Sammy always likes to wear a little bit of hair in his face, so once again, I'm gonna remove a little bit of a chevron here from the front, okay? Section that off, nice and clean, and let's work to the front. Now, with curly hair, when you get to the front, this could end up very bad, okay? If you stretch that hair all the way down and you cut straight across, it's gonna retract. Right, so we have to be very mindful of how this is gonna sit on his forehead, okay? So be very, very mindful. Make sure that you have a lot of moisture in there, okay? Make sure that it's saturated. And once again, it's okay to get your client wet. They're gonna understand they want the best haircut, okay? So I'm just gonna come to the front. 
Okay, once again, I'm gonna take a small section here. I'm just gonna work to the razor and I'm literally just gonna dust his ends. Okay, and you can see the minute I grab it, it retracts, okay? So again, I'm using tension, but then I'm sort of letting it go in a very soft manner because I don't mind if it's not perfect. And I think everyone puts so much stress and pressure on themselves to make a curly haircut such a perfect thing, but really there's such imperfections in curls because curls always react differently, okay? And really you can see, like I'm really just focused on the silhouette of the shape, not so much the cutting line, okay? And this is where things can get a lot of fun again. You know what I mean? It's all visual. And again, if you're an artist and you're working with, you know, paintings or whatever it is you might be working with, that's a visual thing, right? And you can see it's not too short, sitting right about the eyebrow. And all I'm gonna do in this area is work everything down to that perimeter. And it's round, I'm following the head shape and I'm just working that perimeter round. Again, just working from the back to the front, making sure that everything's sitting, you know, and as I can see, as I bring it down, you can see there's probably less, less length coming off. Okay, cool, we are actually done the brunt of the haircut. And as you can see, like I'm just, again, playing with it, just seeing how it's sitting. And the really fun part about curly hair is, again, I'm just going with my loose tooth comb just to see how it's sitting. You can always use your mirror as a reference, right? Because I just want to bring that shape back Okay, and if there's anything that feels like it's sitting out of place, I give people full range of going through and freehanding. Okay, if there's something that can sit better, okay, visually with curly hair, then go for it, okay? And I think there's sometimes, obviously, a lot of rules in haircutting, but it's okay to break them once in a while if you know it's for the benefit of someone's image and look. And I know for a fact how Sammy's gonna get out of the shower, he's gonna wash and go, and he just wants that to sit beautifully, okay? So it's okay to go through, and if you feel like there's things that are sitting out of place, go through with a freehand, okay? Have some fun, be an artist, that's what it's all about. The only thing that I feel is out of place right now is his perimeter, right? Because we left it a little bit long, and I'm just gonna go through once again, like I said, just freehand those ends off. I'm literally just picking and plucking, okay? Just to bring that perimeter up a little bit. Right, so he's not sitting with a complete mullet because I want to kind of give him like a nice curly fro. You know what I mean? Looks really good on him. Looks really cool. I'm just going through and just bringing up that perimeter. Now, the under hair, if you want, you can come at it and take that off completely if you really want. Okay, the razor's not really going to do it right now, but I can show you guys quickly with a clipper what I'm going to do. Okay, so as you can see, there's just some under hair there. Okay, and I'm just coming at it. I'm not going into the natural hairline, and I'm just combing to see how it's sitting at all times, okay? Because there's nothing worse than boxing someone out with lived-in hair, and I'm just literally taking the neck hair off. I'm not actually going into the hairline, unless he asks for it, but he's not really gonna be wearing his hair up, so I'm just cleaning that stuff up, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move to our product, we're gonna move to our styling, and we're gonna show you guys the finished look. So just like David Copperfield on my shirt, we're gonna work with some magic, and that's a ceremony cream. Especially in curly hair, it's fantastic. What it's gonna do, it's gonna bring that curl in, okay, and it's gonna stop it from going frizzy. So we're gonna put a little bit of cream in the hair, diffuse, and bring out that shape. Come on over, let me show you how it works. Oh, it's all about that cream. You need the cream in the hair. Here we go. Ceremony cream, it's gonna stop the frizz. Gonna work it through our hands, nice and white, and we're gonna scrunch. Okay. Again, we're not gonna go through and do a ton of personalizing here, okay? Once it's been cut, it's cut, okay? That's why sometimes working the razor or the point cut is better with curly hair. But again, I'm looking for the overall shape. There might be imperfection in here. I don't care, okay? Because I want it to look visually appealing, okay? So, just gonna scrunch it up, give it a nice diffuse. I'll catch you after it's dry. Okay, last but not least, all I'm gonna do is put a tiny bit of cream in my hands and I'm just going to simply pat the hair. If you're working on a photo shoot, you're working on something for editorial, it's a great opportunity 
to work with these creative styles and something that not everyone's gonna rock, but I'm just using a little bit of this cream right now just to help tame a little bit of that frizz, but I'm really loving the shape, okay? I think the shape is cool. I really think it suits him. Can't wait to take the cape off and show you guys, okay? But I'm just literally dampening the hair a tiny bit with cream just to stop that frizz, but I'm just loving it. Loving the silhouette, loving the shape. Suits him so perfectly, and I wish if I wasn't a bald guy, I'd have this amazing curly hair. I'd probably go get a perm, okay? Damn, loving it. We just worked with some curly hair. I had a ton of fun. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I think we came up with a beautiful shape here. Again, we did not take the blow dry completely to um, 100%. It's about 85 to 90% dry. But let's just do a quick recap and talk about what we did so you can achieve this in your salon, barbershop, or at home, okay? So just spinning them around, what we did is we started with our layer. We brought it out completely square off the head. But when we got here, we worked with something triangular. So we changed our finger angle from here to here to build that nice shelf that this can actually sit on. That's your graduation, okay? We then work to the sides, both sides the same, just straight out with our layer, everything got over-directed back, then we worked to the front, brought in our perimeter, okay? And honestly, we didn't even layer the top. It was sitting so perfectly, and I think that's a really cool thing that we can talk about. Sometimes there's times to cut, sometimes there's not, right? Finished it with a blow dry, and we went through, and we did it visually. I think sometimes we need to break the rules a little bit to be visual, to make sure that they're happy. Sometimes a technical haircut is not always gonna give you the result that you want. So it's okay to break the rules once you understand them, okay? That's it, a curly hair tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to follow and subscribe. Again, if you have any questions please leave them in the comments if there's stuff that you want to learn or know that information for us is how we make everything great for you out there we want to make the rest of your life the best of your life please make sure to follow and we'll see you soon